What's up, Andrew Phoenix? Tech Fanatic Nia from Ultimate Droid With me at the Galaxy Nexus, and I'll be showing you how to install custom ROMs on there. As you may have known, I already have one video for custom ROMs, but I think that one's a little outdated, so I'm gonna make a new one, new and improved one for all you guys, so to make it a lot easier for uh, any of you new beginners. So, first off, you must have Clockwork Mod Recovery already installed on your Galaxy Nexus. If you don't have it installed, you, look, you can look right there for the guides for both uh, Mac and Windows right there. Click on those annotations and that will give you by the step-by-step -step guides and all the good download links and everything. So once you got Clockboard Mod Recovery already in, uh, installed on your phone, you need to transfer uh, custom ROM zip files onto your device. So a couple good places, I will also have a link in the description below to get uh, good places to get custom ROMs. The best place so far is XDA Forums. I will have a link in the description below for the specific place for Galaxy Nexus for Sprint, Verizon, and GSM each specific forum so you can look for custom ROMs and all that in that specific place but that is the best place you can get uh, custom ROMs for your uh, Galaxy Nexus so uh, once you got that downloaded, uh, transfer it onto your phone do not unzip that zip file, just transfer it onto your phone and it may come with gapps, it will give you step-by-step uh, -step directions that forum uh, on what to do with it so once you got uh, download it and transfer it onto your phone, power off your device. And now hold the volume up, volume it out, and power button all at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go of the uh, power button, but keep holding onto the volume up and volume down. So all three. Vibration, let go of the uh, power button. You'll be in the screen, press the volume up twice, and then power button, select recovery. Give it a few seconds. All right, you'll be on the screen now. Let me zoom in so you can get a better look at that. So first thing we'll be doing is clearing and wiping all the data so you don't get, uh, you don't break your phone, you don't soft break your phone. So um, wipe data slash factory reset, and this will delete all your um, apps, data, settings, everything on your phone, except uh, music files, photo files, and other external files that are associated directly with your uh, phone. So make sure you back up all your apps and um, um, app settings, uh, contacts, all the Gmail and everything like that before you start the installing custom ROMs. So just select wipe data since factory set and then select yes. And this will wipe all your uh, settings and all that. Um, this is one of the three things that we're going to be clearing to avoid uh, soft breaking your device. Okay, once you have that complete, do wipe cache partition and select yes. Okay, now go into advanced and select dial the cache and select yes. Okay, that one's complete. Go back, install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and find that uh, RAM zip file that you transferred earlier. So as you can see, mine is right here. Let me, um, there we go. Mine is actually AOKP build 3. I'll let it focus. As you can see, mine's right there. AOKP build 3. And in the form that told me to install it, it also told me to install gapps. So I have gapps right there as well. So I'm, I'm going to be installing two. Now some ROMs might tell you only to install one because gapps is already included. Uh, you're probably asking what is gapps? gapps is Google App Store, uh, Google Play Store, I'm sorry, Google Play Store, uh, Google Talk, uh, Gmail, all those uh, good uh, Google um, d uh, default applications that come with your device. So first I'm going to install the actual ROM and then gapps. So AOKP. Um, Build 3 and then select yes. Yours can be any other custom RAM, just make sure it's supported specifically for your device. Not just Galaxy Nexus, make sure it's Galaxy Nexus GSM or Galaxy Nexus Verizon, Galaxy Nexus uh, Sprint. So this will take about 5 minutes, I'll be back once this is done. Okay, it's complete. As you can see, it's complete right there and you have these options once again. So that's when you know it's complete. Now, since I've installed GIPS as well, I'm going to go to choose different SD card again and find that GIPS one. So mine is right there, GIPS. I'm gonna select that one as well. So this will up. Uh, uh, let me go to zip from SD card. Sorry about that. G apps and I'm gonna install G apps. So this will install your Google Play Store, Google Apps, and all that. Only install G apps if you're uh, if the place that you got the custom specifically tells you to install G apps as well. If not, then you can just install the RAM and then reboot your phone. Okay. Uh, choose go back and choose reboot system now. Now this process will take about uh, 5 minutes to reboot your phone because it's installing a new custom RAM 
completely different uh, RAM that you are from uh, the previous one or the stock one that you had before. So this will uh, this reboot will take about five minutes. As you can see, mine's a custom boot animation as well, so you know it's an AOKP RAM. I'll see you, um, I'll see you in about five minutes when this is done rebooting. Okay, uh, my uh, the installation of the custom RAM is done. I'm gonna go in settings and show you them on AOKP Jelly Bean for my Galaxy Nexus. Let's go about phone. And there, as you can see, I'm at 4.1.1, obviously Jelly Bean. Kernel version, AOKP version right there. So I'm an AOKP Mangro because this is a GSM version. So that's how you install custom RAMs on your Galaxy Nexus. Just keep in mind that um, be safe. Make sure you don't uh, install a wrong one. Make sure you don't install from a Galaxy S2 or from a Sprint if you have a GSM uh, Galaxy Nexus or anything like that. Just don't do anything stupid. And if you need help or any questions on this, as always, you can contact me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and comment, comment on... Uh, Comment on this video as well if you need any help. I'll respond within 24 hours. I'll see you in the next video. All the uh, links and descriptions to the forums are in the description below. I'll see you. Enjoy your Galaxy Nexus uh, um, with custom ROMs. Yeah.